Four RS-25 engines will help power the Space Launch System, or SLS, at launch, providing a combined two million pounds of thrust. In conjunction with a pair of solid rocket boosters, total thrust at takeoff will exceed eight million pounds. In addition to testing RS-25 engines for the Space Launch System flights, NASA at Stennis is preparing the B-2 test stand to test the actual SLS core stage for the new rocket's inaugural flight known as Exploration Mission 1, or EM-1. That testing will involve installing the actual flight core stage on the B-2 stand and firing all four RS-25 engines simultaneously, just as during an actual launch. The B-2 test stand was originally built to test Saturn rocket stages that propelled humans to the moon during the Apollo program. Preparing the stand to accommodate the SLS core stage required a complete renovation of the stand. Major construction on the stand has been completed and NASA recently passed another milestone along the way to the actual hot fire test, conducting a water flow test on the B-2 stand. Water is critical for such rocket engine and stage testing. The fire and exhaust generated during tests is directed down and out of the test stand via a large flame deflector. Water, among other uses, is used to cool the super hot fire and exhaust and to protect the flame trench from damage by the heat. Water to the B2 test stand is supplied through a high pressure industrial water system upgraded for the SLS core stage project to deliver as much as 335,000 gallons per minute at 220 pounds per square inch. During a test, the water deluge system will deliver more than 240,000 gallons of water a minute through 32,000 plus 5 32nd inch holes drilled into the flame deflector.